My name is Jay Wonder with morebeer.com. I'm here today to talk to you about cleaning and sanitizing. While cleaning and sanitizing sound rather similar, they're actually quite different. A clean surface isn't necessarily sanitary. Even after cleaning all visual dirt from the area, it's still possible that wild yeast and bacteria can be present. And that same wild yeast and bacteria can contaminate your beer or your wine. So let's see what you can do to make sure that doesn't happen. Cleaning is the removal of any dirt, soil, or film. Sanitizing is disinfecting a clean surface. The important thing to remember is that it's a two-step process. You have to clean something first before you can sanitize it. Since cleaning is going to be our first step, let's take a look at our recommended cleaning product. PBW, which stands for Powder Brewery Wash, is a non-hazardous buffered alkaline cleaner. It's worth noting that it's not a caustic, so if you get a little bit on yourself, it won't burn you. So just wash it off and you're good to go. The recommended dosage is one to two ounces per gallon of water. This is great for any heavy duty cleaning. But we've also found that if you're good at cleaning as you go, you can use a lower dosage and get the job done just fine. PBW will work in any temperature water, but is most effective between 100 to 180 degrees. The time it takes to clean depends on the temperature of the water, the concentration, and the initial soil load. Once the item is clean, you need to rinse it thoroughly to remove any residual PBW. An easy way to tell is when the item and the rinse water are no longer slippery, just like when you're washing your hands with a bar of soap. Now that we have learned how to clean and prep our surfaces, let's go ahead and look at the sanitizers that we offer. We have three types of sanitizers that we recommend. Two of these are in the same family, so let's take a look at those first. StarSan and SaniClean are both final rinse acid-based sanitizers that are odorless, tasteless, and safe for most materials except softer metals. Both of these can be used somewhat interchangeably. However, there are some applications where one might be the better choice. StarSan is designed to foam, which is great to get into hard to reach places because the foam itself also sanitizes. But don't fear the foam because any residual foam won't harm your beer, your wine, or you. The standard dosage rate is one ounce in five gallons of water, but there may be cases where one ounce in three gallons of water is recommended. Let's take a look at why. Acid sanitizers work by lowering the pH to kill yeast and bacteria. But some yeast and bacteria can survive in low pH environments. They do this by having the ability to keep the acidity in their environment out of their bodies. Part of StarSan and SaniClean contains a specific chemical that forces the cell wall to open and allows the acidity to enter the cell, which then kills it. This is the anionic portion of StarSan and SaniClean. When you first make a batch of StarSan, it should be clear. But depending on the mineral content of your water, there may be binding reactions that cause it to go cloudy. This binding reaction has an adverse effect on the anionic portion of StarSan, thus lowering the killing power. Bottom line, if it's clear, it has the full killing power. If it's cloudy, the killing power has been compromised, so toss it out and make a new one. Here are some tips. Use one ounce in three gallons of water to help protect against the binding reaction. You can also use RO or deionized water to keep the minerals out. SaniClean can be thought of as a low foam version of StarSan, which is ideal for pump setups, filtration, and bottling. SaniClean is used at the rate of one ounce in three gallons of water. SaniClean also has the same anionic killing power that StarSan does, but it doesn't bind with the minerals in the water and won't go cloudy. SaniClean remains completely effective as long as the pH is 3.5 or below. Another great tool to have around as a quick surface sanitizer is Alphet D2. It's a mixture of isopropyl alcohol, water, and a residual bacteria killer called Quat. It comes pre-mixed in a handy spray bottle and is great for sanitizing surfaces, valving on conical fermenters, or individual parts such as keg posts or quick disconnects. Iostar is great for those of you who want to use an iodine-based sanitizer. It's used at a rate of one ounce in five gallons of water, and has a one minute contact time. When using Iostar, make sure to drain and let air dry before use. Thank you for watching our video on cleaning and sanitizing. Remember, great beer and wine happens when you make cleaning and sanitizing an integral part of your process. For more information and other great videos, check out our websites. 
morebeer.com and morewinemaking.com. Cheers.